Street. So what is it? This is a 1974 MGB. Uh, MG stands for Morris Garage. It's a company that no longer exists. And what am I looking at? So this is the, the four-cylinder engine. Okay. I believe it only came in a four-cylinder. And how can you tell? Can you tell that just by looking at it? Um, typically, you can tell by the amount of spark plugs. As you can see, it's got four here. Okay. Um, and this is the inline four. I believe this is the only engine style this came, as far as I know. Um, Liz just had the Weber carburetor installed on it. It used to come with a dual carburetor. They're just a bit more temperamental and a lot of people swap them out. So is this the radiator? Yep. It looks so clean. Yeah, and it's, I mean, or, pretty simple under the hood in these older cars. Yeah. Not as many creature comforts as the new ones. So what are all these wires? So this is like a, the main fuses you'd have on the inside of your car or in here. Oh, so, okay. And that goes to the, I think it's the headlights, um, tail lights. Uh, I think actually her gauge cluster is controlled by that as well. She was having issues. This is part of the brake system and it was rubbing on this hose and shorting it. So like all of her gauges shut off. So basically this is just there so they don't touch and short everything. Oh, okay. And Tony can tell you in a minute probably these are like the old style fuses. Is that where you put the oil? No, nope, this is the where you is... put like the radiator fluid. Oh, okay. It pumps it around the engine block to cool it off. So where's the oil go? Oh, it wasn't here. Okay. Um, this, I think this is the oil filter right here. The headlights are cool. Yeah, and th this one needs to be replaced. But and, can, and a lot of people with MGs have little badges they put in the, the grill. Oh, really? Yeah. There's a bunch of different ones you can get, and I don't know what they represent. I don't know if it's like I've driven this stretch of road, you know, oh. or if it's, you know, if it's a club thing that they have. You know, Crocs are doing that. Like yeah, people. <laughs> yeah, it's <they're> basically <laughs> the same thing. What is this thing? Do you know? Oh, that's um, the fuel filter. So the fuel comes in from the tank, goes through this filter, and then it pushes the fuel into the carburetor, mixes it with air and fuel, and then puts it in the engine combust it. Okay, cool. Simple. Yeah. And this is the oil cooler. To make sure that the oil doesn't over water cooling system does. The oil has its own cooler as well. Okay. Yeah. So I noticed in my previous that it's got two of these radiator looking things. Like an AC condenser. Yeah. Oh, so this is a separate radiator. Yeah. The oil that you put in the engine runs through this to cool off the oil. Take these two nuts off of these studs, lift this off, and the gasket's right there between okay. this and this. If there's one in there, but you can see all the oil leaking. See it coming out right there? Yeah. That's the, that's the heater motor. There's a fan in here and it'll blow air through. Can you see that hose? What that does, you know, there's water, antifreeze in the radiator, cools the engine. The water comes out, goes in there. There's another small radiator, about like that thing, called a heater core. So they run the hot water out of the engine. This controls how much, in other words, how hot it gets. This valve controls how much water gets in there. And then this blows air across radiator thing in there. And that's where your hot, your heat comes from. In this car, there's a handle and it pulls this cable or moves this thing. And what that does is it takes a piece out like this and it opens or closes how much water flows. And we've got it pretty much shut off. And that's the temperature or the, the force that's of the, the blowing? That's the temperature. Well, it's the volume of hot water, which in turn happens to be how hot it gets. That much heat being put in there. Yeah. And, and you can shut it off to where none of the water goes that way, like on a day like this when you don't need any heat. Oh, no. Who's in it? I'm not being a smart ass, you know? Yeah, hold on, I'm going to try. Okay. Yeah, don't do anything with that. Don't do anything with that, okay. Isn't it fun? Yeah, yeah. it sounds awesome. So beautiful. They've used two 6-volt batteries to get 12 volts. Okay. But the last car I had was 
six volt battery was a 1955 Jaguar XK140. It had one behind each wheel. And we still gotta get some gauges to put in there. It's missing some. And what's the lock choke? So that's the choke. So that controls um, the air fuel mixture. So like if it's having trouble getting started, you can pull the choke. Really? So it restricts the amount of air that goes into the engine. You can find those on like four wheelers or dirt and things like that. But Okay, so if you're having trouble cranking your car, mm -hmm. you would use that? So yeah, if it's like, say it's a really cool day and it's having trouble starting, you can pull the choke. So it, like I said, it restricts the air fuel mixture. Okay. And that, that helps it get started sometimes. It, this actually hasn't had to use that in a while. Plus with the new carburetor she's got on it, it hasn't had any issues. So the guys that were restoring it, didn't finish but you can see so this is what they painted this is british racing green yeah but it gorgeous. used to be this kind of gross yellow color before that's the original paint wow wait is that the original interior so i don't know if it was a tan so they redid the entire interior so okay. it could have been black it was either black or tan shifter cover is black and the steering wheel is black that made the i'm guessing the interior was probably black so yeah. is that the original I, that looks like it was replaced. I feel like something that's, you know, 40 years old in leather, if it wasn't well yeah. maintained, wouldn't hold up like that. But if you want to get, you can get wood, wood handle. And I think that yeah. would look great in this car. Yeah. So what is this? The jack. Oh, okay. It should have a little arm that sticks out that goes into a pocket, I think, on these. That. <clears throat> go into a pocket. See right here. See there? Yeah. So what you this has got to be runway down. Put this in there. It probably jacked both sides up. Yeah, see? But it goes down. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. No, that's just a spring or it's a screw. See it turning right here? It's just a screw in the middle. Oh. This goes way down. You slide this in here like go in. There. Like that. I mean we're not gonna do it but yeah. And then, you know, that'll be standing like that. And then it just raises it up. Oh. Oh, wow. You have never heard of a jack like that. A lot of the older cars, I've got a um, Alfa Romeo that's the same thing, except it's got two pockets. Yeah. 